You know what? I've got a floater and I'm not afraid to use it. Welcome everyone for another round of Subnautica with the FCS mods. Last time I set up a fully automated uh, drilling setup over there and I just noticed that my uh, drill icon has turned off for some reason. Yeah, it's turned off. Okay, so I set up a drill over there. Since then, I've also set up another drill over here so I could get some resources. I need some copper and stuff. But back to, I have an automated setup over there. The drill produces resources, goes into the refiner, makes me money, produces its own lubricant for the drill. Everything's self-sustaining. I don't have to go over there, but it's producing diamond. That's not the best material. The best one is kyanite, and I have to get down a little bit deeper for that. Also, this is not the best location for the drone pad, really. Uh, I already have problems with it, and while I wouldn't mind building here, I don't think I want to build on the island again, so I think it's time to relocate today. We're going to take the drone pad out, or drone port pad. Got to have this. This, you know this and the port pad are how I get my supplies now and that will do it there we go no more base before I go though I would like to go ahead and get some of the stuff from the Degazi base down below now I only have the mark one module I am short a couple of things for this uh, it says plastilling it and enamel glass let's see I have uh, I am out of stalker tooth and uh, that's it. I got enough for the plastic ingot. It might take into some of the stuff I just dismantled, but I have enough for doing that. I might have to do some more later. So I just need some stalker teeth real quick. Oh, right away, we got a two. Uh, I might grab an extra one if I can, just in case. All right, I got what I need for the Mark II. Going to upgrade to that. I will need to upgrade more, of course soon once i have some more supplies like that's what was it i need for the next one i need oh actually i got enough for the mark three well let's do that now saves me some time mark three i bet i don't have enough for the mark four i don't even need the mark four really at the moment but you know if i could do it and i can't nickel ore you know what? oh and ruby i can get that pretty quickly actually dovey just knock this right out and get everything I can from here, starting with you know, this entrance. It's alien containment. And, of course, scan the orange tablet. You know, you gotta, gotta do that. Ooh, I don't know why they're so mad at my sea ball just sitting here. I'm not, it's not doing anything. It's just been sitting here and they've been attacking like non stop against it. That's unusual. Usually they don't attack it when it's being still. You know, it's only when I'm driving around. Now there's just like, no, forget this. You parked in our parking spot. It also seems like they're not affected by my knife, and that did not affect my tool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Come here! The infection is making you crazy. And of course, gotta have my swim charge fins. It's very important. And you know, it's not ideal. I usually don't go this way into the Lost River. But I'm already here. Uh, yeah, I might as well take the opportunity to make a quick stop in the Lost River, get some stuff like this ruby that I happen to need, and the cash with uh, let's see, uh, this is the orange tablet, right? Yep, orange tablet. Ion cubes will be very helpful. This is not the way I normally go into the Lost River to do everything you have to do in the Lost River, but. Yo, know, it was convenient. I was already there. That Degazi base. I've got the depth that I need in terms of my upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and knock this all out. And I'll have to come back here anyway because I don't have a purple tablet with me. Now it's just a question of if I run out of room in my storage before I get back. I don't have the drill arm yet, which would make this a lot easier. It's right there. Big thing of ruby. I just, you know, or nickel. I can just drill that and be done for now. But no. I, I don't have the drill arm yet. I, I couldn't make it. I didn't have the supplies. I can still find some pieces of nickel like that. 
And before I head back, I'm gonna grab some magic shrooms. I am back with plenty of supplies, enough to go ahead and do my next upgrade, as well as hopefully do uh, a couple other things in the meantime. Oh, I didn't even fill that up. Look at all those deep shrooms, though. Plenty of deep shrooms. Don't have to go back for a while. Let's get this deep shroom spore going so I can handle planting those in the uh, special agricultural things. And, uh, oh yeah, I got, probably should get some food. Mark four. So I have plenty of depth now. It should get me, at least with the sea moth, down where I need to go. Uh, again, I'm having that weird thing where it acts like I'm falling, sliding. I don't know. Kaya knot is necessary for this. So, well, let's see. De where's the, uh, drill up? Yes! Drill arm! Finally! I am out of nickel ore. I I somehow managed to get just enough to do the other stuff. I, I three more pieces of nickel. That's all I needed. How's this one doing? Oh yeah, look at that. A little bit of copper, some silver. Probably should have done more focus on copper, honestly. But I did get some stuff. You know what? Taking this out because uh, I got a better place to use it. Ah. Uh, Get out of my vision! What? I'm just trying to... I can't see anything. Ooh, did I finally... I think I did it! I finally found it! Uh... I almost missed it. Gee, you think? I'm kind of sitting right on top of it. There we go. There's Mr. Ghosty. Alright, let's just park here for a moment. So, I don't have the depth upgrade yet for the Cyclops that will let me go deep enough with it. So, instead, I'm just going to take the Seamoth down because I've got the upgrade for that. And we're going to get a new mining site set up, in particular for Kyanot. And I'm kind of feeling like, I wonder if it would work for me here, as opposed to down there. Uh, we'll just go down here. It looks more fitting down here so i'm thinking i'm just gonna build like a base up here like on this area we'll go up a little bit because of the way the terrain works and i'm not gonna worry about that now right now i do have with me my deep driller mark three there we go put that there boom i've got lubricant that should be getting some thermal power yep you see it it's charging a little bit and it's building up a charge into the battery. So it's not even a matter of it's, you know, using anything yet. It's just building up the internal battery. So that's not going to last very well in terms of power. But I do have a better option for this base. This is just to get things going. And of course, we're going to set this to tie a knot. And, you know, we'll do nickel for right now just because I need some nickel. Yeah, you go on that way. You, you go off in your own direction. I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to hide around the corner where he's not looking so readily. Try to get some supplies real quick. Yeah, this is not doing very well in terms of power. It's kind of the problem with this area is you have to really supplement the power for it to work. It's steadily draining. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and turn the nickel off because I actually found quite a bit. So I don't really need it. I just need it to do tie a knot. That's it. Get this going so I can have a nice sock pile. Ready to make some money. Gotta do this quickly. Unequip. Go, 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 go. Death module mark two. Can we do yes? Mark three. I might be using up the last of my lithium, but you know, it's at least gonna be out of the way. Go, go, go. Depth module. Mark three, 1700 meters. Let's see how I did. I got a leak. Yeah, I got damage out there. Oh, hey, I got floater stuck. Oh, no, no. You're not supposed to follow me down here. He followed me down. You know what? I've got a floater and I'm not afraid to use it. And I just heard the first lava leech get on there. Okay, there we go. So now I need some power. Uh, you know, I'm really hoping I got what I need for this because I didn't even think about, um, 
fact, I, I don't have anything set up right now to buy a uh, jet stream for the turbine power. Yeah. So I'm hoping this is going to let me build it. I'll just connect this way. There we go. Not, no, not just to that. I need to go over here as well. I need you to connect up here right now. Okay. Power here. I did not get power. This is draining all the power. No, not right. Go, go, go. There we go. Just had to move it a little bit further away. So I don't know if it's going to work down here or if I have to be up top. Like it doesn't seem to worry about going along the terrain a certain way. And the ladders kind of indicate it should be, you know, above water, but we'll try it. We'll, we'll see what happens. And that means I need the hub depot, depot, whichever way you want to call it. Don't tell me I don't have, ah, of course. I used up my stuff building other things. I am missing gold and copper. Are you kidding me? Finally. All right. Hub depot. We're going here. I'm going to buy uh, for power. I really probably don't need to worry about this, but I'm going to get one right now. Just kind of help things out. And just because it's actually not that expensive. Let's see if it works. So base one. So it shows as uh, we're just going to wait and see that drone, hopefully coming through the terrain to get down here and drop off my order. There's the drone right now. Looks like it's just coming straight shot. It's not going across and coming down a tunnel. It's just kind of coming straight here. So I'm pretty sure it's just ignoring the terrain again. Which, I mean, honestly, that's simple. It just, it works. You don't have to worry about actually trying to map the terrain and say, avoid this stuff. But it is not as realistic that it goes right through the terrain. And it knocks my Cyclops out of the way. So the terrain, it will avoid, you know, collisioning with. But my Cyclops is a different story. This is going to be kind of... Oh, I'm fine. The there it is. Uh, like just a backup power source. I'm going to do something a little different because we do have the, where is it? Where is it? Power pylons, telepower pylons. And so what I'm thinking is instead of focusing like I've done in the past, where it's a lot of power here, I'm just going to build this and then connect it elsewhere for power and let this be all about the production. And yeah, if the power connection breaks, I won't have some power going here. Uh, current state trip. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I do want to have some power going here, you know, a little bit of production, but main thing is I'll, I'm just going to do the telepower pylon. That way I can produce a lot of power with, you know, solar panels, nuclear reactors, the whole gamut, whatever I want to do. The other base has the harvester as a deep driller. I'm going to bring down here. It's got the auto crafter. I mean, it's got the power. It's got pretty much everything at the other base including that and some storage. Ah, uh, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to go break down the other base and bring all that stuff down here. Now time to take out the fugly base. You know what? I'm just I'm going to take this out. I don't really need that. I right, got all this set up. Let's see. How much do I have? It stopped auto producing until I got here. Now it's doing it again. But it stopped producing while I was gone. So that's not, um, that's not very reassuring. Actually, I have everything from the other base, which means I do have an extra deep driller and I'm just going to go ahead and get that set up, even though I really don't have the power for it right now. And now we need to integrate into the base storage, which there is no base storage right now, but uh, the only way to connect these in is through the remote storage. So we're going to toss the remote storage unit right here. I think one should be enough. Honestly, uh, I can always add more later if need be, but one should be enough. we we'll just turn that on. And this has 21 kyanite in it right now. We're going to turn this on. I think, yep, turn it on. And 
it's automatically dumping piece by piece into here which will be interactable from inside so you do need right now at least the remote storage for the deep driller to tie in and then from there you're good to go on our stuff so we're going to throw the terminal in because we got to interact with it to program everything server rack floor version because right now as far as i know it still only works with this i'm gonna try putting both in it's going yep it goes in order so we got that so we got some storage in the base which is important for lubricant we gotta be able to produce lubricant that brings in the hydroponic harvester which will produce more than enough with just the one last it's on fire that leaves the one last piece the auto crafter which will take this production the creep vine seed clusters and automatically convert them into lubricant which will have automatically go into the lubricant reservoir on the deep drillers to keep them working and this is bs40 so it's giving random numbers their one was 26 and i didn't build 25 before that so it's just Either each item's counting for something or it's just randomizing the number. But BS040, I need to know because we're going to go here. We're going to add, well, not that, we'll do the template. Connect to base. It's easier to just do it from the template. BS040. Connect to base. We'll go here, go to the base. We'll go to both of these. We're going to enable. We're going to put. Put that we're gonna keep it to you know what? i'm actually gonna go to that way i have a little bit of leeway if stuff doesn't work <laughs> to process uh, if it at least has one confirm we're gonna do the same thing here at least has one do that put two in confirm that should be going we're gonna go crafting configuration and we're going to add an operation for that thing you gotta click here we gotta dump in the lubricant we get it back afterwards you see it says none over there we're gonna you know ideally it should work with one but it did give me problems with that we'll just do one this time try to get it going i did recursive so it just keeps going endlessly won't stop and we'll go back here obviously it can't go right now because i don't have any uh c clusters but let's go here and that shows making sure that shows and making sure it shows it's in uh automatic mode so as soon as this produces something it's gonna take it make some more lubricant dump it into storage here and then as needed get pulled out into the deep driller the deep drillers are filling up the remote storage and that means now i just gotta worry about power for keeping the deep drillers going at a higher speed and the critical part the ore consumer the part that actually generates the money the part that takes anything I'm producing that I put in it and turns it into money by processing it with whatever what magic way it does. All right, there we go. We're going to drop in one data disk here. Not formatted. Not worried about that now because it should pretty much just be that anyway. I'm going to go with, of course, the space saving compact option of wall mounted. Uh, server racks and I got as many as I can Let's see I get I thought I got four all right well I got three so that's good enough uh, we're gonna put the terminal in here you know yeah that's that's good right there yeah it gives me a little room and boom doesn't even matter about what's in the rack it will show you everything in storage and as you can see I've got a total of 200 88 items worth of storage in the one rack and i still have all of these items in storage in the lockers i just have to you know start going through and using them so now i took what i did last time with the full auto base basically you know every aspect of the production chain being done automatically without me having to come back do anything for like lubricant do anything for like collecting and dumping supplies into the consumers none of that you know relying on me anymore i did that last time with that base but it was diamond it was not the best material kyanite is the most experienced material because it's the hardest one to get in the game and now i have upgraded 
with two drillers, the two consumers, some power. I'm, I need to have some more power to bump this up even higher, but I'm going to take care of that as soon as I have a power base placed somewhere. And that's where I need to know what you think. Where would you like to see my base this time? Should I just do a big solar powered base on the mountain? Should I do it on the floating island? Should I just go build a big flat foundation thing in the middle of the safe shallows? Leave it in a comment below. Let me know where you'd like to see me build a big power generating base so I could power this base and probably, you know, one or two others. But that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.